What's happening, dogs? Mr. Allen here. We got ourselves an interesting question. If cosine of theta is equal to negative three-fifths and theta is between 180 and 360, find tangent of theta and secant of theta. Okay, well, let's first, how about draw a triangle here, right? Because I know that cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and I could draw a reference triangle on my XY coordinate plane somewhere between the 180 and 360, which is somewhere in here. Well, if it's negative, I know that it's got to be in my third quadrant because in the fourth quadrant, I know that cosine is positive. Well, my adjacent is negative three and my hypotenuse is five. And then I would know that my opposite is going to be a negative four. It's going down and it's a three, four, five triangle, right? So if I want to get my tangent now, tangent of theta, I'm looking at it from this reference right here. Tangent is opposite over adjacent, negative four over negative three, which is four thirds. And then I can get secant of theta in the same fashion, right? Sha, cho sha, cow. Secant is hypotenuse over adjacent. It's actually the reciprocal of cosine. So I could have gotten that one without even looking at my triangle, right? And we're rarely going to write it as like five over negative three. You just see like negative five thirds is I think a more appropriate way of putting that. Usually the negatives in the numerator or right out in front. But that's it for that one. And that was awesome.